Numbers chapter 10, New American Standard. The Lord spoke further to Moses, saying, Make yourself two trumpets of silver. You shall make them of hammered work, and you shall use them for summoning the congregations and breaking camp. Now when both are blown, all the congregation shall meet you at the entrance of the tent of meeting. But if only one is blown, then the leaders, the heads of the divisions of Israel shall meet you. And when you blow an alarm, the camps that are pitched on the east side shall set out. Then when you sound an alarm the second time, the camps that are pitched on the south side shall set out. An alarm is to be sounded for them to break camp. When convening the assembly, however, you shall blow the trumpets without sounding an alarm. The sons of Aaron, moreover, the priests, shall blow the trumpets, and this shall be a permanent statute for you throughout all generations. And when you go in war in your land against the enemy who attacks you, then you shall sound an alarm with the trumpets, so that you will be thought of by the Lord your God and be saved from your enemies. Also, on the day of your joy and of your appointed feasts, and on the first days of your months, you shall blow the trumpet over your burnt offering and over your sacrifices of your peace offerings, and they shall be a reminder of you before your God. I am the Lord your God. Now in the second year, in the second month, on the 20th of the month, the cloud was lifted from above the tabernacle of the testimony, and the sons of Israel set out on their journeys from the wilderness of Sinai. Then the cloud settled in the wilderness of Paran. So they moved on from for the first time in accordance with the command of the Lord through Moses, the flag of the camp of the sons of Judah by their armies set out first, with Nashon, the son of Amadab, over its army, and Nathaniel, the son of Zohar, over the tribe army of the sons of Issachar, and Eliab, the son of Helon, over the tribe armies of the sons of Zebulun. Then the tabernacle was taken down, and the sons of Gershon and the sons of Merari, who were carrying the tabernacle, set out. Next the flag of the camp of Reuben by their armies set out with Eliezer, the sons of Shador, over its army, and Shulim, the sons of had I over the tribal army of the sons of Simeon and Elisbah, the sons of Jewel, was over the tribe army of the sons of Gad. Then the Colathites set out carrying the holy objects. The tabernacle was set up before their arrival. Next, the flag of the camp of the sons of Ephraim by their armies set out with Elishama, the son of Amalhad, over its army, and Gamil, the son of Pedazur, over the tribal armies of the sons of Manasseh, and Abidan, the son of Gideon, over the tribal armies of the sons of of Benjamin. Then the flag of the camp of the sons of Dan by their armies, which formed the rear guard for all the camps, set out with Ahelazur, the son of Amish Hadai, over its armies, and Pagael, the sons of Okran, over the tribal armies of the sons of Asher, and Ahira, the sons of Enan, over the tribal armies of the sons of Naphtali. This was the order of marching for the sons of Israel by their armies as they set out. 
Then Moses said to Hobab, the son of Reuel, the Midianite, Moses' father-in-law, we are setting out to the place which the Lord said, I will give it to you. Come with us and we will do you good, for the Lord has promised good concerning Israel. But he said to him, I will not come, but rather will go to my own land and relatives. Then he said, Please do not leave us, since you know where we should camp in the wilderness, and you will be as eyes for us. So it will be, if you go with us, that wherever, whatever good the Lord does for us, we will do for you. So they moved on from the mountain of the Lord, three days journey, with the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord going out in front of them for the three days to seek out a resting place for them. And the cloud of the Lord was over them by day when they set out from the camp. Then it came about when the ark set out that Moses said, Rise up, Lord, and may your enemies be scattered, and those who hate you flee from your presence. And when it came to rest, he said, Return, Lord, to the myriad thousands of Israel.